some of us, we, 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 we uh, when it comes to our spouses, we hate, we hate to admit that we're wrong. Is this thing on? Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. It's on there. Okay. Testing one, two, three. Okay, it's on. Sometimes we hate to admit when we're wrong. And that's why, see, brother, and, and, and that's why you spend longer on the couch than you should have been. Amen, somebody. Preach it, preach it. Uh, you, you was, amen. Come on here now. You could have been that. Amen. Now I'm going to show some tough preaching. Don't be so stubborn sometimes. And we hate to say, baby, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on here now. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 We got to feedback. Amen. No, we, no, we, no, no, no. We, we the man. We pull our preachers up so high. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. the agape kind of love. Amen. You see, the God kind of love is a love that is put into action. It's not just telling her you love her, but it's also showing her you love her. Amen. Now, I know some guys have told their wife, I love you. Love Baby, you know I love you. And that I got a black eye. Now, you can tell Brother Sullivan, now, you fell down the steps. Yeah. Yeah. Only so many times, and I'm going to stop believing it. Y'all yeah. hear me? Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen, Walls. Now, I might have been born at night, but it wasn't last. You must don't see these gray hairs. I wasn't born at last night. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I ran into the wall. I fell. No, baby, come on. I tell my brother, now I'm going to catch you all beating your wives. I'm going to help them put you away. Amen, somebody. Don't beat the sisters, man. They weren't made for that. They were made, and we said earlier, to love and to cherish. That's what they were made for. We got to love her like Christ loved what? The church. Because she wants your family to stay together, brethren. Yeah. Amen. Watch this here. You see, it's not just tell. You know, I saw some brothers say they love the, they'll never do nothing for her. Yeah. They right here wearing all kinds of designer clothes. What you say, <laughs> yeah. They got mama shopping at Salvation Army. Nah, no, nah. I'm not saying anything wrong with that. But when you can do better. Yeah. Come on, let me tell you something, man. I've always believed mama ought to, ought to be the head of best. Amen. 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 My wife, she drives, whatever best car we got, she drives it. Amen. Yeah. I, I drive the put put. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I'm not going to, amen. That's how I believe God wants it. Right, right. Amen, somebody. Amen. Love her. Loving her like Christ loved the church. Now, it's showing her. And I'm out through here. And notice what it says. What ways can we show her we love by providing for her even after your death? Yeah. How in the world can you do that? Even after your death, you ought to take care of her. You must be out of your mind, man. Man, them cats come along. I, I how, 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 how can you? Let me tell you something. 
Now, I, I told y'all earlier, for years, I've sit in people's homes and talked to them. And I've talked to, talked to wives who lost their husband too soon. They thought that, oh, he thought he had plenty of time and that such, had a heart attack and died. Didn't leave enough money. They even put him in the ground. Now he doesn't went and got another car. Payments got to be made, and the house still got to be paid. All this stuff, light bill still got to be paid. Children still got, amen. They in a hole now. But he gone. Brethren, if you love them, you ought to take care of them even after your death and go, your dead and gone. Right, right, right. Right. Amen. Yeah. How many of you got life insurances that cover yourself? They make sure that if something happened to you, your family won't suffer. Help us see it. Help us see it. Little slick Willie come along. Tell the church. He left you like that, Tell baby. Lord have mercy. You know, most it, uh, over how you, twenty years I was out there yeah. working in the insurance industry, and most of them they told me I wouldn't be thinking about marriage again, brother Sutter, if he had left me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Was provided for us. Amen. That we wouldn't have to be out here suffering like this. A lot of them they do it for, for, for like I said, for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Provide for them, brother. Make sure that if you die today, your family won't suffer. Five thousand dollars—that ain't enough now. You talking about thirty, forty years ago? It might have been. That might not even be enough to get you in the ground, Hollywood now. Get enough. Now, you trying to give me Proverbs thirteen twenty-two? Watch this here. Watch the Bible here. Proverbs thirteen twenty-two. Listen to the Bible. Listen to the wise man here. By providing for her. Man, I must, I, go ahead. Leave his inheritance to his children's children. Wait, say, say it again, sir. A good man, a good man leave it to his children. Children. Not only do you you are leaving an inheritance to your children, but you also take care of the grandchildren too. That's right, sir. Yeah. That's right. I mean he's a good provider. That's right. Amen, somebody. That's all I needed, brother. You leave an inheritance. You leave something for them, brethren. But uh, 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 except a whole, I'm not talking about a whole lot of bills. But you leave an inheritance. Amen, somebody. A good man leaves an inheritance to who? His children, too. Even though you're not there. I want to be something, man, that, that you know, hey, your, your children might not never get to see you grow. And you might not never see your grandchildren. Yeah. But one day in the house, there's a picture of you. Oh, right. And somebody's friends over there and said, who is that man right there? That's my daddy. Don't even talk. Let me tell you what he did for me and mama. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He kept us off the street. Yes, yeah. He kept us from going on well. Yeah. He loved us enough yeah. to provide for us, even though he's not here. All right, man. Yeah. All right. That's it. Mm. That's all yeah. right, sir. Tell me that don't speak volumes, brethren. Amen. Yeah, yeah. He said, Oh, I tell you, you know, that, that, I've seen that. Brother. I've seen that. Some of us are not going to see our grandchildren. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yeah. But you can provide for. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Loving her like Christ loved the church. Amen. We provide for our spouses, we honor our spouses, we make sacrifices. For our spouses yeah. and our families. And also we protect them. Yeah. Even if it costs our life. Oh, it got quiet there. Yeah. Even if it costs you. Amen. Yeah. I got brethren, man. Somebody come to the door, they want to send the wife to the door. Yeah. They, they, uh, amen, somebody. Baby, yeah. you, 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 you get the door. You're going to be the man, be the man. Yes, Amen, somebody. Amen. Brethren, we ought to provide for our families. We ought to honor our spouses. We ought to give, make sacrifices for them. And we ought to protect them, even if it costs us our lives. Love her like Christ loved the church. What did he do? He gave for God so loved the what? The world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Love was the motivating factor that the Father Sent the son. It was love, y'all. 
Who that was that would love got to do with it? Oh, Tina was here today. I tell her, Tina, yeah. love had everything to do with it, baby. Yeah. Amen. It was the love that God had for a wretch like you and me. To death do us part. That's what God wants, y'all. That's what God wants. He wants to death do us part. Now let's talk, brother. What, what do you think of some of the biggest challenges now that, are, that that your congregation are facing where you are today? Talk to me before I, before we run out of time here. What what are some of the greatest challenges where you are, and you're dealing with your marriages and spouses? Another, Talk to me. Understanding what love is. Understanding what love is. The application of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the brother said, understanding what love is the application, and a lot of they, a lot of them don't know it, do it. I what that's some, I want to know what love is. Huh? A lot of folks don't know. A lot. We got to teach them, y'all. We got to teach them. That's why we have, a lot of times we have workshops, in-house yeah. workshops that we bring in, brethren, and teach them. I really believe that the family, man, we've, we've got to drive this home, y'all. To our, because if you don't, if you don't, you'll live to regret it. Amen. Brother Hubble? A, a lot of what we have to deal with is just the very fact that men don't love it. Uh-huh. Mm. They don't love them. Uh -huh. and, 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 and trying to deal with counseling and trying to deal with, you know, bringing them to that point mm -hmm. is, a, is a challenge. Why is that? The white thing is so tough for us to really, mm -hmm. it's mean. We, we, Why? We don't understand. We don't understand. Nothing. We don't understand. Pride. Brother, how do we? A lot of it is if we're afraid to show uh -huh. that man. Uh -huh. You know, someone put on Facebook up there. Uh, Danny Glover yeah. and uh, everybody upon it, they would kiss him mouth to mouth. Uh -huh. and, oh, that's gay. It's not gay. You know, uh -huh. um, when you look at foreign countries, men saluted one another sure. you know, on the mouth. Now, you keep your tongue in your mouth. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we are afraid to embrace one another. Uh -huh. You know, we, we shake hands, we don't hug no more. You know, because society says it's mm -hmm. gay. You know, there's a thin line yeah. between that. Mm -hmm. But and then the other part you have, there's no fathers in the home mm -hmm. to show that young boy how to love, good. Good. and how to treat the mother, and how to treat even the son. Mm -hmm. You know, fathers. When we last time we said we love our sons, Amen. we hug them and kiss them, yeah. and not just say it back. Watch out. Yeah. And then after the very next thing I was going to ask when you said that, good question. Why are we afraid? Yeah. To tell your son, son, I love you. Yeah. Good question. Hey, daddy. Yeah. Uh, I'm coming here for real. Yeah, yeah. Sir. I get this junk is over with. That's real. We don't. That's nothing wrong with telling your son, son, I love you, yeah. and still be a man about yeah, it. Right. Hey, man. That's right. That's right. I just think one time them cats get on TV, they say, hey, mama. Yeah. Hey, mama. Yeah. Hardly ever say, hey, daddy. Yeah. That's a reason, brethren. Yeah. That's right. That's a reason. A lot of us have been, you know, we, we, we've been missing in action. That's right. You know, and I'm, even as preachers, we have to watch it. That's right. Because sometimes we can get caught, we can get caught up and 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 and, and counsel yeah. other folk, yeah. Yeah. children, yeah. Yeah. and who yeah. like a mechanic. Yeah. We're gonna let everybody else talk, and I'll run like a piece of junk. Mm. Right. Oh, come on, yeah. now. Yeah. We've got to have a balance, y'all. Yeah. 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 And I, if you don't, man, I'm gonna tell you, yeah. this thing can easily uh, 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 put you out of balance. That's right. Yes, sir. You talk to a wife and ask a wife what she, what, what she really wants. She wants security from, from a man. Uh -huh. yeah. And she wants a, a God-fearing man. Right? Yeah. That's, you ask these sisters walking around, okay. they want a man to fear God. And, and you brought us excellent points. But I just want to read a script. Oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Matthews 20, uh, 22, 37. It says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, uh -huh. and with all thy soul, mm -hmm. and with all thy mind. We're going to have to love God first Amen. before we love ourselves and show somebody Ooh. else love. Yeah. And then it says, verse 38, it says, This is the first and great commandment. Amen. It's not only a commandment. He said this is a great <laughs> commandment that you love God. Yeah. And then he goes on to tell us, love thy neighbor as thyself. So that love, 
what my brother here is saying, the brother here said, you know, we, we <laughs> love is honor, yes. respect, mm -hmm. and for us to show uh, ourselves the wise or even my brother, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to love God first. Amen. Amen. If we don't love God first, you know, like you said, we we not we don't yes. It won't last, brother. Huh. You, you know, one thing I tell, I tell my young folk when I put they get married. You know, one thing I tell them, most of them are in counseling. First of all, you got to get to somebody to love God. They love God more than they love you. Yeah. They can't understand that. That's what you, oh yeah. That's See, if you get somebody to love God more than they love you, That's yeah. then then you got a good chance of making. I mean, I mean, the, 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 a better because, and you got a better chance of not uh, coming home with a black eye, come, oh, come to yeah. church with a black eye. Yeah. Because you got a person that fears God, first of all, right. and they love God, and, and they know God, they know that God wants them to treat you right. Amen. 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 So get somebody to love the Lord first. Like you, you're absolutely right. Yes, sir. I'm going to say four words. Intent, impact, perspective, and perception. Uh -huh. Now, when I came to the church, I didn't grow up in the church of Christ. Okay. So when I came in, I loved the Lord. Uh -huh. uh, and I said, I'm going to serve God. Uh -huh. I got very young. Man, look at him. And I was serving the church. I mean, I was, the doors open on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe I got to go. Maybe I got to go. I got to go. One of my old sisters pulled me inside and said, young boy, you better look at what's going on with your marriage. Yeah. And if you don't serve, if you don't look at loving your wife like Christ loving the church, if you don't put those two things together, uh -huh. you're going to mess up your household. Mm. So my intent was to serve God. But the impact was I was hurting my family yeah. because I had the wrong perspective. I didn't know what it was to serve God by also serving my family. Right. So when That's somebody good. else gave me a different perspective, I had to put everything in balance. Yeah, so, and I think there's one thing I was going to speak on what Dimitri was saying. Some of us, we don't want to feel, we don't want to show that we're, we're vulnerable. Mm -hmm. We think showing affection is being vulnerable. That's yeah. not true. Yeah. But some of us, we act that way, so I have to put on this persona that mm -hmm. I'm not vulnerable at all. And our wives want to see that also. They don't, yes, they don't want you to be a crybaby. Right. You know, but they want to know that yeah. they're there to support you. Yeah. You need to allow them to do that for you, you know, when it's appropriate. Yeah. So, you, you, know, <laughs> you know, you know, when I, um, years ago when I had to was on something, I had to teach on something somewhere, and oh, it was, oh, it was a Father's Day thing we had, and all the fathers was there. And, uh, and, and one thing I said, you know, some of us might not have been there for our children, let's face it. Some of us might have lived raggedy lives right. before our family. In time past. I said, you can't do nothing about that. That's right. That's gone. I said, well, what you can do is call me. Set them down. Yeah, well, sorry. And you can look them out for all that and say, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. man. Say, I, I want y'all to forgive me. You want to teach. Oh, man. I want your mama to forgive me. I, I know it. I wrong that. I was a death for you. Yeah. I said, that was I can't. I, I'm a changed man now. All right. I've asked God to forgive me, and I'm asking y'all to forgive me. Yeah. Well, that's good stuff. That's good. You know what you have just done? Good lesson. You have just disarmed the devil. All right. No longer can they hold it. See, sometimes kids hold that against you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They will because you weren't there for them. Yeah. But the very fact that you were humble enough yeah. and honest enough to say, you know what? Yeah, I dropped the ball. Good I did. That's and I'm sorry. Yes, sir. My God. Good lesson. Good lesson. We're talking about stretching the family. Modern family matters. Family matters to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Amen. It does. The family is important. It ought to be poor enough, brethren. Yeah, I preach. We preach. And look, look, we preach on. But one thing we we sure enough try to drive in our congregation is the family. Because I really believe that Satan, his 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 guns is pointing at the family right now. Yes, sir. He he he's got he's got he got he got a uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 he got a uh, 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 an assault. Uh, he used years ago called. Uh, Divide and come. Yeah. Yeah. It's old as dirt, but it's there. Yeah. Yeah. If he can divide us at the home, yeah. he can conquer it. Yeah. He knows that a house divided yeah. Yeah. against itself yeah. cannot stand. Anybody else got a question? Yes, sir. Also, I think that uh, we need to see examples of. Oh, yes. And, and, Amen. And, and, you know, it's all right to preach because we mm -hmm. have to preach. Mm -hmm. We need some examples mm -hmm. so that people can follow. Amen. I'll say this, uh, I have three children. Mm -hmm. My wife and I, we've been married a long time. Okay. I've always supported marriage. We have three children. Mm -hmm. They're all married. Mm -hmm. They're all with good 
not only you know because of God, but mm -hmm. also because we try to live a life in front of them. Mm -hmm. and, and they follow the example. Amen. I believe it. Let I me tell you something. something. You said it right there. The power of an example. Yeah. Yeah. People want to see something. Like yeah. Yeah. Amen. Let our young folks see. Yeah. See. Uh, people saying they're 50, 50, what, 55, 54 years. Let, let them see people married 60 years and 70 years. Let them see that. Hey, Amen. One more question. What do you have? I just like to hear My wife she got a real man. Uh huh. What, what? A real man. A real man? Not just talk. Uh huh. That will take care of his family uh -huh. and be the man he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And when you lead by example, I'll give you a plus. Oh, Lord. Lord. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Brother Glover, again, I want to thank you for the invitation to come. Prayerfully, I hope you got something out of what we've, we've tried to share with you today.